everybody. How are you tonight? Dr. Stephanie Stroud with Cornerstone's Pet Tip of the Week. Um, tonight, we're still talking about that darn disease. It's in the top two of all diseases of all my patients I see every single day that I'm at work. Um, and I go to work five days a week, plus emergencies on the weekend. So almost every day of my life do I see this disease. Um, and that is obesity. Oh yes, I know, I know. We've kind of been talking about it the last few weeks. We've talked about um, exercising and conditioning programs, which if you missed that session or that um, discussion, um, one of the things we do have here at Cornerstone Animal Hospital to try to help you um, exercise your pets while building lean muscle faster is to use our conditioning programs through the underwater treadmill therapy um, that we have here at Cornerstone. And for... Um, a um, certain a period of time we are actually offering if you do three to four sessions with us then um, you get a coupon to use for other veterinary services later on um, which can be used for another conditioning session or can be used for dentistry or whatever else your pet needs and so you know definitely um, exercise is a big portion of obesity that we talk about um, we kind of talked about specific diet food that we recommended last week and we talked about our loyalty program with that um, of buying um, a certain amount of that uh, specific diet that's going to help boost their uh, metabolic rate to help them lose weight. We talked about that last week. Um, something um, that you can get, again, coupons back and use it for other veterinary services. And of course, you know, um, we have our app, Cornerstone Animal Hospital, which you can use all the time with us that you can get lots of different rewards on, sometimes from free nail trims to um, money back that you can use for other um, services with us. Okay, but tonight, I, I still am talking about obesity because it's such a big disease that we see in both our dogs and our cats. And I even see it in guinea pigs and ferrets. And so across species, across the board, I'm seeing this um, almost every single day of my life with the emergencies and then with um, just my daily Monday through Friday job. And so so what can we do when we're talking about not only adjusting diet, but treats? Everyone loves treats. We love to give treats. And I know your dogs and your cats, they have those eyes that they look and it almost feels like they're looking into your soul. And, and you just, it's so hard to give. I tell clients all the time that it's a good thing that this patient isn't my kitty cat because I would have such a hard time saying no. But that's what I'm asking you guys to do. So I'm not against treats, but... We have to use them in proper proportions, um, which can vary a whole lot. And so treats, whether we're talking about dogs or cats or any species, should never be more than 10% of the recommended diet. And I say recommended diet because oftentimes you hear of the diet, and if you're overfeeding and you calculate 10% on that, not only are they getting too many calories as part of their normal meal, but they're also getting too many calories of their treats then. And so of the recommended amount they should get should be no more than 10%, which can be really challenging. So for example, the average cat should weigh about 10 pounds. So that means roughly, depending on their metabolic state and everything, they should get roughly 200 calories uh, per day which 10% of that is 20 calories. So no more than 20 calories from treats per day, okay? Um, same thing, if I have a five pound chihuahua, um, their calories are even supposed to be less than 200. So um, a five pound chihuahua should get roughly between 100 and 125 calories per day, which I will tell you guys an average cup of dog food can range anywhere from 300 to 600 calories in a single cup. And so it's very, important to look at the specific food you're feeding so you know um, that a half a cup in one dog food is not the same amount of calories as a half a cup in another dog food necessarily. But back to that five pound chihuahua who's supposed to only get between 100 and 125 calories a day, that's only 10 calories coming from treats. And it's so easy with little dogs especially, we just give treats and we give treats and we give treats because we think they're cute. And they are cute, guys. I'm not saying they're not cute. They're freaking adorable, which is why it makes it so hard to say no sometimes. Um, but that means um, they should only be 10 to 12 and a half calories per day allotted to treats, okay? And so, have to really look at the amount of treats that you're giving. And sometimes that means you give one treat a day, but you break it into tiny little pieces so you can give it throughout. 
okay? There's a lot of different treats on the market. Um, you know, here in America, we have capitalism, which is wonderful. I'm proud to be an American and um, to have that as part of our economy. Um, but there's a lot of good marketing with different treats because of that. Um, and some of those treats aren't so great for our pets. Okay, um, one of the new things that have come out that I'm a little bit wary about, I see this um, across my Facebook page um, or on ads with my YouTube or anything like that, are these new things called bark boxes. And I'm sure you guys have seen them too. Um, I see um, lots of problem with bark boxes. Not only are they filled with lots of calorie laden treats, um, but often these treats are not the healthiest for dogs. Probably um, I see two patients each month that come in with diseases associated with these treats, either vomiting or diarrhea or other health issues that we're seeing with them. So I actually do not recommend bark boxes at all. Um, I don't recommend a lot of the uh, new treats that come out just because we see so many different problems with them. Okay, but what can we use for treats? Again, um, a certain amount of treats, 10% of the recommended diet is okay. Okay, I'm not going to say no treats ever because I would not be able to hold up to that myself. Okay, even for my own diet, I have to have some treats every now and then. I'm sure y'all do too. Okay, and so what are some actually healthy treats that you can give? Well, I always like to get the most bang for my buck, okay? And so there is a specific diet that I actually re recommend supplementing as treats. And so you have, you know, whatever diet your pet's on or if they're overweight, again, we're recommending that metabolic diet that we discussed last week. But as the second, I said obesity is one of the top two, two diseases. So obesity, the other disease I see is dental disease or periodontal disease, okay? And so I always try to say, okay, what can I give as treats? Because we want to give them, but that also will help the teeth. You know, there's a lot of different dental treats out there and there's a lot of um, debate about whether they're actually helpful or not. And so I actually recommend using a diet called TD, T as in tooth, okay, D as in diet. So tooth diet is what I call it, TD. Um, as treats, okay, because that is a diet that's actually been scientifically researched to show a reduction in the amounts of dental tartar buildup. If I can reduce the amount of dental tartar buildup, I get less periodontal disease. And so when it comes to actually treats that I recommend, I recommend using the TD kibbles as treats. Again, keeping it in that 10% allotment, okay, which will range from patient to patient depending on what healthy weight is for that patient, okay. If that is not something that you want to do, the other thing I do often, um, because I have some dogs that, or cats that don't particularly like multiple different things, is I will use their own kibble for treats, okay? And the way I do this is I get a Ziploc baggie or I get a special baggie that is container or something that's specifically designed that the dog or the cat identifies as, oh, this is something special, and I put an allotment of that 10% of their diet into that bag or container. That way, when they're giving you those soulful eyes and you feel like you just can't say no, you can go to that bag or container, pull a kibble out, and use it as a treat. And the awesome news is, is again, you pulled that out of the regular amount they're supposed to be eight pets, okay? Um, another one you could use would be baby carrots. Um, I would maybe do like a half one a day, okay, if you're going to do it that route. Um, Got to be careful how many carrots we feed because it can have a lot of sugar in them. Okay, the other ones that I recommend um, of the vegetables would be frozen bell, or not frozen, but bell pepper slices, okay? So red, yellow, orange, any of those are fine. You just want to make sure you're staying away from the spicy peppers. And so uh, those are all acceptable treats. You know, I always get asked about fruit too. I stay away from the fruit as much as possible because they tend to be high and high in sugar, um, which can basically the, the body will instantly convert that to fat, especially if you have a patient that's already over, or a pet that's, overweight already. And so I tend to stay away from the fruit treats, um, tend to stay away from lots of the peanut butter treats, just because again, it's high in calories. Um, but the, the veggies, um, the TD, or any of the uh, using their own kibble for treats works really well. So that's kind of what I have for you today. Um, if you have questions about other specific treats, or you have methods that you use, I would love to hear about them. Um, also, if you have been watching this series for a while and you've really enjoyed the different tips um, that we've been giving you, 
I would love for you to let me know that. Um, I would be uh, really appreciative if you would write me a Facebook review, letting me know, hey, um, I found these helpful. I don't come to you, but I really enjoy seeing these on a weekly basis. Or even if you come to us, I'd really appreciate a review letting us know how we're doing with the tips, if they're addressing your concerns, if they're um, answering questions that you may have. And so that is all for tonight. So I'll plan on seeing y'all next week. All right, bye-bye.